All right, people, we are back with more vitamin Y. So you guys are like, what? You bought our treat on a Friday. Yeah. And the reason why I want you about training on a Friday is because I don't want to play it on Monday. That's the only reason why. I mean, of course, the deck is not being taken off by me. Anyway. I'm enjoying it. It's a lot of fun to be able to play with Archery and they actually have some synergy with you So, you know, this is one of the decks that I was planning on taking off. But uh, for Monday, uh, literally, this is the reason why uh, we're playing this today. Because... Uh, yes, you know, this week was supposed to be like, you know, playing with different UBL decks. And then it was supposed to go back into the set of schedule. But, you know, I'm still having a couple, I want to still do a couple of things with the other UBL decks. Now, I'm not saying that literally uh, UBL, I mean, Vitamin Y schedules are thrown out the window because Daniel's literally going to play any UBL deck that he fucking feels like. No, that's not it. Uh, I still want to go ahead and work on a couple of those UBL decks that we played this week because, you know, there are a couple of them were like, oh, really fun. This hand is not the best. It is definitely not. I mean,. I mean, I guess I'm probably just going to summon the Calvary and then literally end my turn. I mean, shit. This is just like, because I have plays, of course, with Mass Commander, which is, which is great. It's, that's fine. But the rest of it is, I mean, I guess I could summon Commander, but why? You know? Why? I mean, Calvary's already 19 beater. Uh, you know, 19 beater, that is not bad, you know? Generally, with 19 beater, you at least got to commit to something to get over it. So, you know, yeah, I, could, I could have that, and you could be mad at it. Oh, I got that foolish, too. And Foolish? Hey, 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 that's nothing to scoff at. I'm gonna go ahead and Foolish summon that. Foolish that Aerith. Aerith gets your effect on. Uh, go ahead and give me Roar. I love Roar. Give me Roar. Give me Roar. Give me Roar. Give me Roar. And I'm gonna just go ahead and go into battle phase. You wanna fuck him up? Fuck him up. I don't care. Negate attack. Okay. Okay, I see you. I see you, big dog. So, I'm gonna go ahead and special summon you. You. Okay, that's fine. That is totally fine. You can have that. Don't even I'm mad at. Like, not even. Not even. I still have plays. Like, and our commander? I don't give two fucks about him. Like, I care about you, you, and you way more than anybody else. Like, that. that, that that's how it is. Way more. Yeah, anyway. Uh... I wanted to go ahead and have this kind of be like a kind of Q&A session. Go ahead and ask you guys what you guys want to see. So, uh, we've we seen a couple of different Ubel decks. And it's not that I ran out of ideas, because I was just like, I was just like, some of them I was like, eh. Like, I was thinking about playing like Fire King Ubel, but it's like, wait, the reason why that deck got taken off is because there's too much Fire King, not enough Ubel. And, you know, no, no, Ubel got in the way. Like, not thank you. You know? So, uh, that's one of the reasons why that deck's not on here currently. Uh... There's there's other decks, but like I said, most of them are really graveyard reliant, really set up reliant, long chain S decks. So I was like, eh. So I don't know what my opponent here is playing. He's just not summoning any monsters. Okay, like I said, I feel like he's being sacky, but I wanted to be sure. I wanted to be absolutely fucking sure. I don't know. I'm getting a sacky vibe from him, so. So you got six cards, let's go. One of the extra deck, like I said, are you playing some slow Zodiac? Yeah, because literally all you've done so far is draw and block, so. Okay, that's fine. I'll get one of those effects. I'll get one of those effects, motherfucker. Why is my phone blowing up, hello? It's not even Tuesday. <laughs> I don't even know what I want. Yeah, sure, I'll get another Calvary. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know where my opponent is going with this right now. So we'll go ahead and summon Emperor. I go ahead and use my effect. Banish pop. So are you just being stally? I really feel like you're just being stally. I mean, really? Like Karibo? Like who plays Karibo if you're not trying to be stally? What's up? Hello. <laughs> so in the comment section below. You know, go ahead and state it, because I've been taking all your your uh, helpful tips and consideration, tweaking the decks that we worked this. Way. I mean, come on, the, these most of the majority of these decks were you know first timers. Ooh, I'm shooking now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold on. Hold on. I'm reading. 
Cannot be special summon during battle between this and the special position monster. I take the difference. If this card attacks, then cannot be special. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Like, you didn't even let me respond. Like, you literally just dropped this fucker and then it declared an attack. Like, nigga, I, I, shit. The true emperor has arrived. Ah. The power. Can I only activate the effect of emperor once per turn? Once per turn, you can banish one of blah, 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 blah. Thank you for the support. I try. I try. I try so hard. Ain't got so far. Okay. No, no Lincoln Fire. <laughs> Alright, so of course, when this card is destroyed, this card is destroyed, you can special summon one ancient gear golem from your graveyard, ignoring summoning conditions. I'm not even gonna get out of <laughs> Wrong yard. <laughs> that grammar dough. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I don't trust that backer like huge. But I really, I really, I can pull off a play twice. I can literally go. Emperor effect banish pop. Dark hall, then I then you know. Well, I guess I'm a commander. Yeah, banish pop. Dark hall destroy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do that. Emperor effect. Get rid of that background. Who would have thunk? That was his deck. I thought you were being stally. This nigga busted out the fucking Ancient ultimate chocolate fudge covered gear fucking rape me the booty hole card like oh hell no nah. Doesn't say I can only use the effect of him for once a turn just once per turn as in if he leaves the field and comes back I use the effect again, which is just great. It's just fucking fan fucking tastic. Now, can you guys see why I like this deck? Of course, I can't attack because uh, commander effect. I mean, cavalry effect. But can't you see why I like this fucking deck? Like, it does have synergy with Ubel. Like, I, I'm, I'm playing Archfiend, but it has a lot of things. Both cavalry and uh, and Aeris have synergy with Ubel. And that's just awesome. I can use the Emperor effect to destroy Ubel, destroy Terror. Like, oh, shit. Shit. You think this deck is getting taken off of fucking uh, shit? Pick up. Nah, hell no. Nah. I'm having too much fun. I love this deck. This deck ain't going anywhere. I just can't believe I get the shit slapped out of me by his one card in the fucking extra deck. Like, holy shit. I'm putting it out work. <laughs> I got two mass commands on deck, ready to go. Ready to fuck you up. I'm banished to pop that. I, I don't even care. I don't even care. That's game. Oh, I got my graveyard. I got the co I got the monsters I want to summon. Oh, I banished from my hand. I I don't need fucking I don't need you right now. Blow that. This is a fucking GG. Good. Whoo. Whoo. That's it. That's a, that's one. But no. Of course. I mean, like I said, this deck is a hell of fun, and it's not going anywhere. But the reason why is because I didn't want to play it on. I don't want to play it on Monday when I come back. I want to play one of the decks that we played this week, and I wanted to leave it to you guys. So like literally, oh, I want to. I should build him. I, like, as soon as I clicked accept, he, like, popped up. I'm not sure if he wanted to duel or not. <sighs> I guess if he wanted to duel, he would tell me. But, uh... Hmm. Well, it's a good thing I only want one Dark Greffer in this deck, so hopefully I get fucking Rota. I'm not sure how many Rotas I'll play in this deck, though. I see, I believe it's 1-3-3, three, three, I want to say. Please tell me it's 1-3-3. Three, three. Please tell me I have one Rota, so I can at least get to have the higher consistency of Dark Greffer. Nope. Okay. Okay, so if I don't get that graphic, I ain't doing any fucking e bell plays. It's not one, so cross my fingers with the number generator, but it's not looking too hot right now. We'll go ahead and go into Fortune Tune. Because Fortune Tune is bay, because I actually get the effect when you, you know, when you attack me and attach from destruction, I get the effect. You know, if I. If you use like an effect, an activation effect in the tattoo, you don't. But if you if it, if it doesn't activate and you detach, then you, yes, you do get the effect. That's the problem. 
So, as like, can I use like Zen Mane to proc from destruction? Yeah. Can I use Torch Engine? Yeah. Can I use like Engineer or you know Levi Leviathan? No. So there you go. Because people always try to get on me about that. They're like, oh, you know, you don't get the fuck when you detach from arrows. Like, yeah, for a fact. But if I detach just from destruction, which of course doesn't activate. Like Fortune Tune or like Zen Mains that doesn't activate, then yes, I will get the effect. I did my research before I made this deck. He gonna grab that Prisma. He gonna fuse. I ain't ready. I ain't ready. I didn't want to set the Trundle because I didn't want to really turn to my shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Here we go, people. Here we go. Well, of course, I can't be targeted. Oh, you don't have to state how many you're Pendulum Summon. You just Pendulum Summon. Oh, my goodness. Oh my damn. Oh my goodness. He went so ham. So, this card is Pendulum Summon. Place three counters on it against four hundred type creatures. You remove the power from this card and target one spell or trap on a field and destroy. God damn it. I wish I fucking. Oh, no. Nah, I wish I would set the torrental. Nah, that's fine. I can, I can block her this next turn. I can block her this next turn. I got nothing to worry about. So, I'm gonna go ahead and detach. Get her effect. Um. I kind of feel like I want to get an Oasis. Yeah, I'm going to get an Oasis. I mean, not an Oasis. Oasis, hello. Can't search that. Roar. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Then you attack again. Then you attack again. Ah, I can Black Rose. I can Black Rose next turn. Mask Chameleon, summon back Eris, going to Black Rose. Wipe the field. Beautiful. Beautiful. Whew. Love this deck. Is that some back row? Or are you literally just going to end your turn? Right now, I'm gonna, f I'm gonna f shit, fucking Gara, Anubis Gara, with your fucking settled Kaiba picture. I'm about to beat your ass. <laughs> Hopefully, that's a fake veil in your hand, because you're about to get your ass fucking beat. Oh, it's about to be fucking, fucking blood and guts and sand, because you're fucking Gara all over. Let's go ahead and go into Black Rose, watch you quit. Bitch, you guessed it. Whew. You was right. What is your favorite Yu-Bell deck besides... What is your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh deck besides any Yu-Bell deck? Um... Probably Teller Knights? I mean... Oh, I like Cleese, but that's just Dirty Dan. Like, probably Tellers. Probably Tellers. Probably uh, Teller Knights. Love them scales, Bitten. Love them scales out there on the field, too. Put them scales out of here. I'm darn dang. That felt so good to do. It really did. Yeah, probably tellers. I like I, I like tellers, right? That's my fun deck. Now, if it, of course it's a competitive deck. It's like tier, it's a tier 1.5. Funny <laughs> thing is, the doll is my second most hated deck. <laughs> Hate Shadows. Hate Shadows are a passion. I have a passion for fashion. Uh, during your end phase, I'm gonna roar. I'm gonna roar. Send back Eris. This is still the end phase, because there's multiple end phases. <laughs> He's probably like, what? Yeah, I know. I hate Shadows. I'm gonna go ahead and get Emperor. Ooh, that falling down though. Emperor, I'm gonna use my effect. I'm gonna go ahead and banish the roar to destroy that. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I have voices, so I can literally just summon him back and he'll be a 3000. Because right now he's 15. <laughs> yeah. Did pick up? I don't know. Yeah. Fine. <sighs> Yeah, I was actually sitting there, and I was thinking, and I was talking. I kind of forgot who I was talking to. I think I was talking to Ryan, or someone, or, or just talking. I don't know. But we were trying this, you know, place where Cosmos are. I'm not impressed by Cosmos. I've beaten Cosmos more times than they have beaten me, and I've beaten them on Vine and Live with you Bell decks. So, how can a top-tier deck lose against fucking you Bell decks? Like, come on. Come on. So, I was trying to break it down, and I was like, well, what, what's, what's, the, what's the tier? And, of course, the tiers are subjective. So, I was trying to get, you know probably you know a good set on you know where certain decks that so this is just my opinion and i'm gonna go ahead and do it and if you know 
Oh, I love sports. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't, even, I don't even have sports in real life. I, I mean, sports are fun, but I don't even have sports in real life. So during your new phase, I'm going to go ahead and activate Oasis. So I'm back at Emperor. Who's, of course, a 3,000 beater now. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and summon my Armageddon Knight. Like, look look at this. Look at this. This deck has synergy and it's fun. Like, you, you, you don't, don't, you can't hate on this deck because it's just fun. It's, I mean, if you lose to Arch Fiends, I mean, how, how can you be salty losing to Arch Fiends, right? Am I right? Am I right? I'm, I'm right. I'm right. Because this deck is fun. It's not like I beat you with meta. I literally beat you with Arch Fiends. You, you, who saw that coming? This deck is fun, you know? I'm glad I added the Revival back in because I needed it. Before I didn't have the Revival. Now, now, now we're just kicking butt. Now we're just kicking butt taking names. I have my own fucking Snatch deal, people. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> Only it would be funner if I had you bell not in my hand but in the graveyard. I hate drawing you bell, but GG. Damn, want another one. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this, people. How can we have a week without this? This is fun. <laughs> but like I said, in the comment section below, go ahead and tell me. You know, uh, you know, Umber you bell. Go ahead and give that another try. Or it will hear you bell. Like I said, I tweaked all the deck. I took all your uh, comments and considerations and tweaked all the deck. Uh, you know. Uh, should all you bell or uh, I'm not sure if he wants to duel or does he just want to watch I, like I said if I if he wanted to duel he would have said hey can we duel so I guess I'm assuming he just wants to pop in and watch so well, well keep on zombie Jesus hello my zombified savior <laughs> like I said I, of course I'm only gonna run one dark graphic because dark graphic doesn't really do anything in this deck like when you really think about it um uh... I mean, I can send you Bell, but I really don't want to. Uh, I mean, using no P deck, so you should be okay. I'll go ahead and send them again tonight. Give the fact, like I said, you you don't have an extra deck, so I'm watching you, watching you. Like I said, I, I love the, and that's I said, I love to send you Bell because, but I really want to go ahead and send the Aries, skip my setup. Toolbox. Always Toolbox. Always Toolbox. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get Emperor. No, 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 no. No, I'm gonna, I, should get, I should get Roar. Just get Roar, because Roar can still search. Set that. Set that. Set that. Go ahead. Like I said, you don't have an extra deck. I'm not worried. There's no such thing as Heavy Storm. I don't do it. I can start do it by Black Rose. Like I said, I don't care. I don't even care if you're using a fucking Exodia deck. You should have an extra deck. Just for your toolbox. Just in case. Just in case. That's literally that's what makes extra deck monsters so OP, is that you always have access to them. You know? Like, I, I always have access to a fucking field wiper, shit like that. Like, look at this shit. I have access to all the time, constantly. It's fucking crazy. It's not like I have to draw into them, you know? And where some being dead draws. Toolbox. Anyway, so I was thinking. Top tier. Tier 1. Tier 1. Top tier. Best decks. I'm going to say Necros. I'm going to say Cleese. Especially with Tower Turbo and non Tower Turbo with defensive with triple loot on turn, yeah. And burning abyss. Because they float. And the, the interesting is that they're, they're the three top decks, they're the three kings. Yet they're all three kings for different reasons. You know, Cleese for the control, burning abyss for the floatiness, and necro for the consistency. Like that's really weird. Cause usually we get some top tier decks that are all top tier for all the same reasons, but they're all top tier for all different reasons. So I think that's really cool. So you know, those are top tier. And they're probably saying like, whoa, where the fuck is Ritual Beast? I'm dropping them down to 1.5 because that deck has consistency issues. Like, have you seen that deck? Like, it can it, it has that control aspect. That's that's great. That's great. It kind of reminds me of Inferno. Is when they go off. But when they don't go off and they open up bad, they lose bad. Oh, oh. Well, I mean, Cosmos. I'm talking. I'm gonna talk about this deck too. So, tier 1.5 where you can totally see them. You you can see them to definitely win. Yes, definitely. They they can go ahead and fucking win it up. 1.5. I'm going to say, Ritual Beast. I stayed before, because they're a little bit inconsistent. Can they win some tournaments? Oh, yeah, definitely. But they're, they're a little bit inconsistent. I'm, I'm watching them. I'm watching them. I'm surprised you didn't go for the attack and get the damage and get the search in instead of just jumping straight into uh, into Forerunner. 1.5. Ritual Beast. 
Talonites, and Shadows. Those are 1.5. Those are the decks that you see still up there on the top tables. You know, they can face down the, the, the Tier 1 decks, but they're up there. They're past, they're past Tier 2. Tier 2, uh, I know, I mean, they generally don't go too much into their extra deck, but, you know, they can too as well. So, like I said, Toolbox, Toolbox. Like I said, you run some 3s, you run some 4s, you run some 7s, Toolbox. You know, but you're probably playing some Jeff Jones variant, I'm assuming. Yeah, because that's another thing with Cosmos too. So tier two, Cosmo, Heroes, Volcanics, stuff like that, stuff like that. That's that's tier two. Cosmos n right now with what they're starting off with, no higher than two, no higher than two. So th this hype train with Cosmos, get off of it right now, right now, get off of it. You want to pick up the cards right now? I know I'm not saying so. Pick you know, pick up the pick up the cards while they're cheap. But I can't even say that they're freaking cheap because. Fucking farm girl's expensive as fuck. Emergency teleport. Like, if you were to ask me, Daniel, should I pick up Cosmos right now? I'd say no. Because it's not good enough to, to be top tier. So it's not like you're going to pick up Cosmos and then start just topping. Because, no, you're only tier two. So, I'd say no. Don't pick up that deck. What the fuck do I have in my extra deck to fucking handle this? I don't even think I have anything in my extra deck to fucking handle this right now. I mean, if I had Mass Chameleon, that'd be, that'd be a cool story. Um, during your end phase, I'm going to activate this, pay 500, go ahead and summon her. So no, yeah, uh, with how expensive, uh, farm girl is, with how expensive emergency teleport is before the reprint, you know, no, I'd definitely say don't pick up fucking cosmos, because they're not that good, they're not good enough to be pick up worthy right now. Definitely not. Uh, not since I have Emperor. I have plays. I have plays running through my body. I'm going to take my turn. Oh, oh! I was going to, I was going to discard special. Ah, oh, no, because Mass Chameleon. All right, what am I going to do? What I'm gonna do? I'm definitely gonna discard special. No, that's that's a given. Universe, uh, so I need to send you battle. Um, discard special. I'm gonna get both of these because they're yeah. so discard special. Another thing is cosmos don't run any background. Like really? How's that supposed to be scary? Also, I'm actually planning on putting this deck cosmos on uh on daily duels so. You'll be seeing that soon, but go ahead and drop your bell. Like I said, and I talked about this too. I beat Cosmos on fucking Vitamin on fucking Vitamin Y with you bell deck. How the fuck is that top tier? <laughs> you know how the fuck how the fuck is me beating a fucking deck like this? How is that top tier? Am I right? I'm right, right? I'm gonna go ahead and send another Eris. Get my search on. Like, look at this. Look at this. I love this deck. It's so fun. So fun. We'll go ahead and get Calvary. Still have a normal summon, which is just still fan fucking tastic. Still fan fucking tastic. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go into King of the Feral Imps. Get effect on. Detach. One thing that sucks and why I messed up right now. I forgot this was Limit Reverse, which is. Yeah. Show sure someone you in defense mode. Yeah. It's because you cannot special summon any other monsters except from the extra dead during the turn after this effect. And I've clearly special summoned other monsters, so. Might be. That's fine. I mean, I can I can literally go into Ubel and handle that Forerunner, so. Looks like I'm saying. I'm saying, how, how, how can a deck. How can a deck that's top tier lose to Ubel decks? Hmm? I'm waiting. Yeah, exactly. I forgot. I forgot. I, I thought I had another piece of rival. I shouldn't have used this Oasis. That's what it is. That's why I messed up. Ah, that's where I messed up with my plan. That is. That's where I messed up with my plan. I should have just. I shouldn't have uh, used my Oasis. I should have picked special. And then normal summon him, and then made the King of Thrones that way instead of making it through Armageddon Knight. I forgot. I forgot the Armageddon with the Mask Chameleon. I'm thinking too fast. I, I really am thinking too fast. 
Another farm girl. Okay. Farm girl effect again. Mm hmm. Summon Slip Rider? No, another Forerunner. Okay. I mean, he's, he's not bad. He's 28 beer. He can't be fucking, uh, target. I mean, that's power, but. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with no extra deck, like, yeah. There's just a whole bunch of beaters, like. Yeah. Oh, you think you're gonna get that direct attack in? Like, definitely not. I'm not gonna allow you to plus for no reason. When you bell. In which case, I mean, you can go ahead and banish and summon Slip Rider, but I'm still gonna get pair. Like I said, you guys have nothing. You guys are all offense, no defense. And a lot, not a lot of responsive shit either. It's all just beat, 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 beat. If you can't beat over it, then you're not doing it, you know? I mean, you're honest and limited removal. So your deck is all just committed to just get aggressive with it. If I can't attack over it, then it's not, then it's not worth battling against, right? So I'm assuming you're gonna go ahead and activate your Cosmo Town. Yep. Take your farm go back. Take 300. Yep. You know, I'm about to tear wipe him, especially with another fucking action that. Other Cosmo Town effect. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Terraform and search for another. Uh, search for the same fucking field spell that you already have? Like, where are you going with this? And it's like, oh, well, they float. Sort of. Sort of. The big guys always have to summon from hand, so you always gotta have a big guy in your hand, you know? So. I said, I am, I am not the biggest fan of this deck so far. And then, and then this duel, I'll probably win. And that's sad to say. It really is. But, you know, what the fuck are they... What the fuck is he gonna do against Tear? Tell me that right now. What the fuck is he gonna do against Tear? Nothing. He's gonna fucking lose. Like, that's exactly what's gonna go down. I'm not, I don't want to set because he can go ahead and summon his, uh... His Slip Rider. And I want him to destroy my, call, my set call on it. Like, why? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess I can summon Calvary, and then Calvary will go ahead and get destroyed, and I can go ahead and summon... Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Oh, no, because I can summon... Oh, we get... Mm, yeah. Like, fuck it. Like I said, he can't do anything against me. He can't do anything against me, so why not get aggressive with it? You know? Why not? Phone is going off like crazy. So. You know, and especially since he's not running any extra deck either. Like, I think the biggest threat right now, if I was dueling against a regular cosmetic, is I would destroy these two. He would summon two of his, uh, Good bitches, and then XC into something to take out my terror. But he has no extra deck either. So it's literally just beep, 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 beep. Where the rank four and generally rank fours are very responsive. You know, your opponent does something, you respond with a generally like a rank four, like an X time cast or something. He doesn't have that either. So you get your effects. I'm gonna say effect. You say your effects. You wanna use your effects? I guess you don't want to get a fact. I'm gonna go ahead and summon Emperor. Ah, Emperor. See, they kind of float. That's the thing. You know, the the bigger ones, some some smaller ones from the deck. But then the, the smaller ones don't summon the bigger ones from the deck. They gotta summon from hand. So if you don't got the big ones in the hand, what are you doing? No, tier two, two, no. 
maybe next set. Like I say, I say, I say, pick up the deck. Not right now. Like right as this video is going up. No, 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 no. The hype is too real. With Jeff Jones and this deck coming out in the no major tournament yet, don't pick it up because this deck is way too expensive for for no major tournament right now. Like, I doubt it's going to do anything at this upcoming YCS. Uh, I think YCS Toronto, I doubt it. I doubt it's going to do anything in these originals. So then, of course, since it's not going to do anything, the hype is going to go down. Same thing with Red Eyes. Don't pick that shit up either. Wait for the hype to go down. Wait for it to not top anything. Wait for its prices to go down. I'd say a good time to pick it up would be... Yeah, yeah. I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> it's, a, it's effect is optional. Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> that is not my job. That is not my job. <laughs> you know, and he fucks up. And he fucked up too. Like his deck is gonna be hurting right now. Hurting. Hopefully, and the, that's the thing. He can't outbeat me either. Like the, the Cosmos beat. He can't outbeat me. He can go ahead and play his Cosmo Talon, pay the life point, get Farm Girl. Farm Girl, go ahead and banish her and summon what another Forerunner. Like, like I said, I'm gonna try this deck on daily duels, but like I said, I just don't think it's that good. I think a good time would be to pick it up would be before the next set because of course it's going to get new support and then maybe we could talk maybe we could talk about this deck being like oh yeah now that's some good uh, that's a spicy meatball what the fuck am i saying maybe before definitely before the next set i'd say maybe after emergency teleport somewhere around the reprint emergency teleport like that might be a good time like i said not right now like at this moment do not pick this fucking deck up because that would be stupid as fuck if you do that that would be, whew, that'd be straight ignorant if you picked it up now. You got that Dark Hole too? Like I said, I know, I know that plays for Gekis and Dark Holes, so. Throw Dark Hole at me, hit me with a, with a. He could probably game me if he has a Dark Hole, because he can go ahead and summon the, the, the Farm Girl. Attack, 15, search, banish, summon, attack, so, with a Forerunner. So, if he has a Dark Hole, he could probably win. But, remember, did, was it Cosmos that beat me? No. It's Dark Hole and Regeki. I mean, there's too much destruction in, in this game of Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. Way too much. Like, two Dark Holes, Regeki, Torrentals. It's like, what? It's way too much destruction. And then the ARG, they're two Torrentals. Like I said, too much destruction. Way too much destruction. And you clearly saw when you saw Jeff Jones' fucking deck profile and shit, and you're like, yeah, that's a lot of destruction. But now, since he couldn't game me, now he's, in, he's gonna be in some shit. Thing is, I don't want to overextend with the heiress. That's, that's the thing. That's the thing. I'm gonna set her. I'm gonna set her. I'm, I'm gonna take dual slot. Just in case he goes with uh, Dark Hole, because now I have more revival. So, that's 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 where he's in still some trouble. Like I said, if he could have threw the dark hole at me and then pushed through the game, then yeah, he had to have it. But now I got my my uh, more revival set up. So literally, if you if you do dark hole me, then I'll just summon you bell and tear you again. Which Terra was already giving you enough trouble. And now you gotta deal with Alter Nightmare, who of course does not target, doesn't give two fucks about any of your fucking monsters. So here we go. I said, how can how can it, like I said, how can a deck that be top tier lose against a fucking you bell deck? Like, come on, come on, am I right? I'm right. No, I'm right. Not hating on the deck. I'm just not the biggest fan of it. I don't see. I don't see where people see it's top tier. Fucking I got all hyped because it topped eight with Jeff Jones, him and his friends, topped eight in a fucking ten man tournament. That's like me saying like, oh my deck is so good, I won at locals. Like that's essentially what that is. Because locals, even there's locals that are not. Like get Jeff Jones, get your get your ass out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Cool, Calvary. What I'm afraid of right now is summoning something like, uh, like, um, like Eris or something. Toolbox. Toolbox. Rank threes. Rank threes. Rank four. Rank seven. Uh, big Eye. Big Eye. Exiton. Exiton. Castell. Shit like that. Shit that will have your back. Yeah, not impressed. Top. I mean, tier 2 at the most. 
I don't want to summon her because I don't. I'm, I like summoning beaters that are stronger than Farm Girl because I don't want him. I don't want to go push for the Aeris just for him to go summon Farm Girl, attack over Aeris effect, and you know do that. You know, I'm just I'm not impressed by him. I am not impressed. I've seen much better. You know, people are like, oh, it's the new Burning Abyss. Like, shit. Burning Abyss jumped off kill. And this deck, not even close. Like, you want to compare yourself to Burning Abyss? <laughs> You're not even going to be their fate. I'll make, you, <laughs> I'll make you eat those words. Fucking Sonic. I love quote. They're in the battle step. Okay, well, let's turn the battle step. That's fine. I said I'm getting aggressive with it. It's time to get time. It's time to eat some slime. Attack three thousand. The Jerigito two. That that card's overhyped too. I don't get the point. I don't get. To, I guess the Jerigito kind of has synergy because you can special summon it, gain the life points to seventeen. But you can tribute it. Uh, you know, during your first turn, you can tribute this monster, target it, monster. So it's during your first turn and uh, increase the attack. It's during the damage step, you can tribute it, increase your farm girl, get the effect. Like I get that, but. I'm just like, oh, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't, oh, shit. It seems like with sort of the floatiness, it seems like this deck would be a better control deck. It really does. Instead of an aggressive deck. If you could pull it off like that. But then you got another problem with it. Is that you would be a fun control deck if you had consistency. This deck has consistency. This deck really revolves a lot around Farm Girl. And with your high level monsters, you know, it's just... If you don't get farm girl, you snuggle. Like I said, I'm gonna try to work on the deck on daily duels this upcoming week. I'm gonna take off Cleese, because obviously uh, I don't need fucking Cleese. Uh, what's in my graveyard? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, uh, Neff effect. Which is interesting, because I generally don't use Neff, of Neff on. Uh, on. I don't think but E Bell, but of course it's it's, it's Archfiend, so it's clearly supposed to be in this deck. Uh Cal effect. Can I summon or does it have to be except for Calvary? Motherfucker. That's fine. That's fine. I'm definitely gonna go ahead and go to attack. Someone's hitting me up on the Facebook right now. This deck is fun. <laughs> <sighs> this deck is fun. I, 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 okay, okay. See? See? I won again. I won. I think I will, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I know the ratio between me beating Cosmo decks with you, Bell decks, and me losing, I'm on the winning end. So how the fuck is a deck that's supposed to be the new hot shit, people screaming, it's the new tier one. How the fuck does a tier one deck lose against fucking you, Bell? Sorry. You're inconsistent. You're too aggressive. Don't play back row. You're just about beat, 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 beat. So as soon as someone summons something that you can't beat over, you sit there and twiddle your thumbs. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. You know? Like I said, and especially since you didn't have an extra deck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to dig into it. I'm sorry. So, no. Daniel, should I pick up Cosmos? No. They're not. They're way, they're way too expensive for, for what they're not going to be able to do. Same thing with red eyes. No, do not pick up either one of those two decks. The hype is too the hype is too high right now. This is new shiny shit. It's this class rebellion. Oh, and you know they they came out. They're gonna go ahead and top the tournament. I think so expensive. And look at Jeff Jones, man. Fuck Jeff Jones. I'm sorry, but no, you guys are just hopping on that gay man's dick, and there's no reason to hop on it. There's no reason. Fucking farm girl, eighty bucks. Fucking eat a dick for 80 bucks. Shit. Y'all eat a dick for 80 bucks. I ain't eat a dick for 80 bucks. Y'all eat a dick for 80 bucks. Fuck that. Fuck that. No, 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 no. There's no reason for that card to be that expensive. There's no reason for that card to be fucking 40 bucks. I'd say maybe 20 bucks is the most. And that deck is it's just tight right now. So don't, 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 don't. All right, I'm done. <laughs> this is a fun one. This is a fun one. I give our treats. It's definitely staying. This deck is fun. <laughs> you tell me this deck ain't fun, right? So, like I said, in the comment section as well, go ahead and tell me. You know, let's go ahead and see some more Umbrugy Bell on Monday. Or let's go ahead and see uh, uh, Evil Hero. Or, uh, what was another deck? I don't, even, I don't even remember what fucking deck. Oh, and also, uh, my man, my man, uh, <coughs> Forever Epic, he wants to work on a great old Bell. So, I was going to work on that, but I'm going to put that up today. I was like, you know what, I'm going to let him do it. I'm going to let him do it, and then I'll tweak it to my 
to my liking, but I mean, he'll do the research. He'll put in the work. <clears throat> I, man, I can't remember. There's Evil Hero Yubel, Ember Yubel, Shadal Yubel, Yubel and Zach Ferris. Like I said, I tweaked all of those decks, so you guys go ahead and suggest one. We can come back Monday and, you know, use the tweaked one and keep working on it until we get it. That's generally how I mean, why it works, you know. We play a deck, it's new, we tweak it, make it changes, make it better, because like I said, they see, and then eventually it gets to like the pinnacle of good, like this deck like, that it's currently at right now, which is just awesome. And then when I get bored of it, I take it off and we put on a new deck. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Uh, of course, weekend, get, get your league. So, I'll be back on Monday with some more Vitamin Y. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Really appreciate it. And, yeah, see you guys on Monday with whatever deck you guys vote on. All right, people. Thanks for watching.